Hi everyone, Miss Patsy here. Today we're going to be studying the fifth grade science book, Mixtures and Solutions, Investigation 4, Reaching Saturation. Part 1, Salt Saturation. Question, is there a limit to the amount of salt that will dissolve in 50 mLs of water? Let's find out. For this investigation, we'll need some salt, some water, a funnel, some filter papers, some bottles to mix our solution, a cup for measuring water, and a scale. First, we're going to add 50 mLs of water to our bottles. I'm going to start with two first, and I'm going to leave these for later. One bottle I'm going to weigh on my scale. So you will see that this bottle of water weighs 70 grams. I'm going to put that information on my paper. 50 mLs of water in a bottle weighs 70 grams. Now that I've weighed my bottle of water, I'm going to place a mark where the water level is. Like so. And then I'm going to start adding salt by using the funnel. I'm going to add about two teaspoons full to start. And then shake it up. Now what happens to the salt when I add it to my bottle? It's called dissolving. And once it dissolves, I'm going to add a couple of more spoonfuls. And then shake again. It still looks like there's some salt floating around. So we'll mix it until all the salt dissolves. Now what we're trying to do is we're trying to make a saturated salt solution. Saturated means that it contains the largest amount of solute. Our solute today is salt and our solvent is water. And our focus question for today is, is there a limit to the amount of salt that will dissolve in 50 mLs of water? I think that looks all pretty much dissolved. I don't see any granules on the bottom, so we'll go ahead and add two more spoonfuls.
and shake. Just a little bit cloudy. Now we can see granules on the bottom. And no matter how much I shake it, they still filter down to the bottom. Now, why are the salt granules on the bottom of my bottle? Why does it no longer dissolve? It's because we've reached saturation. No more salt will dissolve in the water. It's reached the maximum amount of salt that it can take. Now look at our mark from our bottle. Notice how the water level went up. Why did the water level go up? It's hard to tell on the slant, but here we go. It's because the amount of salt that we put in displaced that amount of water. So the, well, the salt does take up room, even though it doesn't look like it does. Now, how can we find out how much salt it took to saturate the solution? We could say it took six teaspoons full, but not all of the salt dissolved. So there's some on the bottom. So we have to filter that amount out. So next we're going to take our filter paper. take one of the empty bottles and pour that in. Most of the salt will stay in this bottle or in our filter paper. And what we're left with is the saturated salt solution. And if we weigh this, on our scale, what we get is 85 grams. Now I'm going to put that on my paper. The saturated salt solution weighs 85 grams minus, minus the 50 mLs of water and the bottle. So the salt in the solution weighs 15 grams. So it took 15 grams of salt to saturate that solution. Next, we're going to pour some of our solution into an evaporation dish 
and evaporate out the water to prove that there is salt in our solution. And we'll see what we have left. To do that, all I'm gonna do is take some of our saturated salt solution and pour it in this evaporation dish. And let the water evaporate out. And we'll see what we're left with in a few days. So let's review. Was there a limit to the amount of salt that would dissolve in 50 ml of water? The answer is yes, because after a certain amount, no more salt would dissolve in the water. And that's why we had salt on the bottom of the bottle. And do you know why I put the solution through the filter paper? It was to remove the excess salt that didn't dissolve out of the solution. And what was the effect on the level of the liquid in our bottle? And why did it go up? Because even though you can't see the salt in the solution, it still takes up space or volume. So let's take a look at the weights we recorded. The saturated salt solution weighed 85 grams. The 50 ml of water in the bottle weighed 70 grams. So that means that the salt in the solution weighs 15 grams. So that means that it took 15 grams of salt to saturate 50 ml of water. Therefore, the solubility of our solute is 15 grams per 50 mLs. I hope you enjoyed our investigation. Until next time, have a great day.